five, Cody Killebrew. The captains for the Falcons of Kincaid. Number two, Gardner Watson. Number six, LJ Carrillo. Number 27, Hunter Robinson. And number 52, Johnny Griggs. The Eagles have won the toss and declined the option to the second half. The Falcons will begin by receiving and defending the south end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, Archbishop Shaw is a proud member of the Louisiana High School Athletic Association, and we remind everyone that tonight's game, although competitive, is an educational experience for all players and students. Let's continue to show mutual respect and good sportsmanship throughout tonight's game and refrain from any negative comments or behavior. We welcome our guests from Houston and wish both teams the best of luck during tonight's game. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our first quarter sponsor for tonight is Stability Financial on the West Bank Expressway in Marrero. Come see Ray Davis from the class of 1982 at Stability Financial for all your financial needs. Kicking off of the Eagles is number 36, Henry Zalea. Deep for the Falcons, number six, LJ Carrillo. Welcome, Archbishop Shaw family and friends. We are just now starting to open the Carrillo kickoff. on the return, brought down at about the 20 yard line, will it be first and 10 for the Kincaid Falcons? We now watch as the Archbishop Shaw defense comes onto the field. Uh, they have started the season off not too hot, but there's always room for improvement. Um, yeah, it should be an interesting season. Uh, this is a pretty important game for the Archer Shaw Eagles, as this is Coach Hank Tierney's return game. As many many know, this, he was the head coach in the 80s and 90s of the state championship team. Kincaid run the ball. Going to be pushed out of bounds at around the 20. Give, give him the 21, maybe. Not too much of a gain. Archer Shaw defense is kind of solid, as many people know. Archer Shaw is actually a pretty young team this year, actually. Um, not just but know that we don't have many seniors, uh, but the ones we do actually do have a pretty good, you know, potential, uh, bright future. Okay, run the ball once again. And that was a pretty good gain on there. Jordan Evans with the push out of bounds. Jordan Evans is actually a pretty promising young player. Um, yeah, he makes make spectacular plays when he needs to, and uh, he's a great student on and off the field. Likes to learn, likes to play, plays tough. Uh, as a lot of people know, uh, Archer Shaw has a pretty brand new coaching staff. KK won the ball, running the ball once again. And Jordan Evans, won ooh, a little tumble on the sideline. Hope everyone's okay. Man, I mean, from, from where I can see, uh, not many calls being called. I've seen about two blocking the blacks already. Blocking the back, excuse me. Yeah, continue what I was saying. Um, Archer Bishaw has a pretty much brand new coaching staff. Almost everybody except about three uh, are brand new coaching. They're all spectacular coaches, though. Okay, finally, with a pass play. 
Oh, nearly intercepted. Nearly intercepted by Junior Darrell McAfee. Um, that probably would have turned the tides a little bit. Would have set the Eagles in action, gave them a little boost. Second and ten for the Falcons. Set about the 30. You know, honestly, I don't see them, you know, really getting past this tough Shaw team. Uh, pretty tight defense, pretty solid defense, if I can say so myself. Then I'm a little motion before the play. Run the ball right up the gut. And they are stopped, maybe about a two-yard gain. Now, breakout players really on the defense for Shaw's team. Uh, number four, Jordan Evans, as mentioned before. Number 99, Jaden Scott. Number 35, Sheldon Green. Kincaid coming out with a little screenplay, and he is taken down. Great play by Shaw's defense. Once again, Jordan Evans. I mean, he's a he's a young superstar, man. I mean, he's got a he got a lot of potential, bright future. He's just an all-around great player. All-around great person, if I could say. I should say. Got some, got some new players coming out on the defense. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Punt return. Now you got speedster Mike Williams in the back backfield. A couple of offers. And uh, also a breakout player, um, Gavin Richard. Yeah, he returned a couple of punts in the Jamboree versus Riverdale. Punt is nearly blocked. Not a, not a great punt. Richard catches the ball returning. Makes a couple moves, but he is ultimately brought down around 53, 52. I'm sorry, 47. Can't count. Now, we do have, for Shaw, sure, um, a pretty much brand new quarterback in Jason LaCava. Did not play quarterback too much. He is a... Uh, he was kind of known as an athlete last year. Kind of played all around, all around the field. He's pretty much doing everything. He is, again, one of those players, great in the classroom, great in the field, likes to learn. He uh, ran for about two touchdowns, I think, right in Riverdale. David Kensey running the ball right up the gut. David Kensey, again, one of those speedsters. That is Cody Killebrew coming off the field, seeing the tight end. Man, it's kind of it's just kind of exciting to see what um uh, the Shaw Eagle team could do this year. You know, young team, a lot of potential, a lot of wins to be one one of the uh, future. Lakava with a little check down to Mike Williams breaks one tackle. Going to come down the field, breaks another one, and he is ultimately brought down around the 30, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, 28. Great play by the Eagles in that one. That's the thing with the Cobble, man. I mean, he can kind of see any openings and make those passes. He's more of a mobile QB, but when he needs to throw, he can throw. He's also um, uh, he's a multi-sport athlete, plays pitcher for baseball, for second base as well. Hits dingers, as he says. Fake, QB, QB read. Gets about, eh, stopped the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard gain on that one. I mean, Shaw's really driving out the field at this point. I mean, Will Anderson, not much can keep number him. nine on the tackle. Him. Gain of one on the play. It'll be second and nine for the Eagles. Again, like I, like I previous, previously mentioned, uh, this Coach Hank, Hank Tierney's return game. Uh, coach back here back in the 80s and 90s, so way before my time, you know. <laughs> but uh, I think he's supposed to bring a lot of victories and uh, promise back to the school. David Kensey in a handoff. Pushed out at about around the 25. David Kensey carries for the Eagles. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 22-yard line. Isaac Lee, number 29, on the stop. Gain of five on the play. It'll bring up third and four. So if you can go a little bit perfect. 
Now, Shaw is kind of, I wouldn't say turned around, because we've always been, you know, kind of, you know, relevant, you know, with uh, all the past wins and stuff. But uh, kind of have some, uh, you know, tough luck up as of this point. Can't see with the handoff. And he is tackled for, breaks a couple of tackles. Ooh, keeps moving, pushed out. I mean, about a yard gain. Can't see carries for the Eagles. Michael Bell on the stop. No gain on the play. It'll bring up fourth and four for the Eagles. It's fourth now for the Eagles, so I think they will bring out. Well, they're going for it, maybe on fourth down. I think they're confident in their abilities. Oh, I'm, I'm so dearly sorry. It's a field goal team. Not the biggest football fanatic, but you know my stuff. Oh, the muff, the pup. Oh, my goodness. The handoff is slipped. Fumble on the field goal attempt. And the fumble, and uh, it will be a turnover on downs. I mean, this is what I was talking about, man. You know, Shaw's got to finish. Jace LaCava brought down at the 35 yard line. Will it be first and 10? Sharpen. For the Kincaid no, Falcons. Really working their, working their Ladies crap. and gentlemen, the Shaw Alumni the Association is holding its weekly 50 50 raffle tonight no, and at all home games this season. Tickets may be purchased from our alumni representative during no, the first half of tonight's game. The winning ticket number will be announced during the third quarter of tonight's game. So good luck and thank you for supporting the Alumni Association's scholarship fund. Kincaid's offense coming back out on the field. Didn't really do much last drive, but things may change. Went a deep pass and right over the receiver's head. Robertson's pass falls incomplete, intended for number 12, Parker Kabitza. It'll bring up second and 10 for the Falcons. The ball at the Falcon 35. Ball around the Falcons 35 yard line. Like mentioned before, you know, Shaw's really known for their defense. Kind of grit and grind on the field. Well, our iron sharp with iron around here, you know. Tough on offense, tough on defense. Come out of motion play. Falcon run the ball. Good stop by the Eagle defense. That would be number two, Lewis Foster at the tackle, the junior. Christian Again, Murray with the carry. Multi-sport athlete. Brought down at the 37-yard line. Gain of three on the play. It'll bring up third and seven. Lewis Foster, number two, credited with the stop. Third down for the Falcons. Let's we'll see what they can really do here. See me have a little trouble uh, interpreting the play. I hope they have a little trouble run, running the play. Set another runner in motion. QB draw, right up the middle, and he is stopped for a short gain. Harrison Lawrence with the carry on the quarterback keeper, brought down at the 40 yard line. He's stopping the four in the play. It'll bring up fourth and five. Jerome Victor on the stop. That was uh, Jerome Victor with the tackle, man. I mean, he's he's also, you know, kind of a floor general on the on the field. Three on the play. It'll bring up third and Ladies seven. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for tonight's hydration. Foster, number two. Tonight's hydration credited with Troy stop. Cotton from the class of 1980. And Paul Griffin Jr. with Wild Car Wash in Marrero from the class of 2001. Thanks again to Troy and Paul for your continued support of Shaw Athletics. See me have a little trouble uh, interpreting the play. I thought they have a little trouble running, running the play. Back to what I was saying, you know, Jerome Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please take advantage runner. of the Screaming he Eagle 1000 Ball Raffle tonight and at all home games this season. At $10 a chance, you have a 1 in 300 chance to walk away tonight with $1,000. Please see our alumni representative tonight. Kick 
KK about to punt the ball. And then they're trying not to punt it to Mike Williams. Oh, and there we go. Let's see what he can do. Oh, muffs the punt. Picks it up, though. Trying to make a gain out of it, and he ends up losing yards on the play. Uh, Michael, Michael Williams, Williams on the return. He's dropped drop for a loss. Right. Back to about the 28 yard line. Well, it'll be first and 10 for the Shaw Eagles. I mean, man. I like this. No one really Connor Shaw. Cubbage, number 42, on the tackle. No one really beat Shaw like themselves, you know, man. I take a, how was this against St. Charles Catholic? I mean, St. Charles Catholic did not beat them. Shaw beat themselves, you know. But it happens. There's no success without mistake. Not about how hard to get hit, but how hard to get hit and get back up. Let's see what the Cobb and the Eagles can do in this, this drive. Cobb hand off to Kenzie. Kenzie right, right, right in the middle. And they are pushing. They have about a yard or two gain. Give her three. Can't see on the carry, dropped for no gain at the 29-yard line. Second and 10 for the Eagles. No gain on the play. Let's see, once again, what the Coffin can do. Roll out pass. Go check down. Oh, dropped. Ooh, lead hit on the play. The refs never really call it much tonight. You know, like I said, not the really biggest football fanatic, but. The Coffin's pass falls incomplete. Call it how I see it, and to me. Intended That's for number that. 25, Gavin Richard. Balls at the 29 yard line, third and nine for the Eagles. Third and nine for Shaw, let's see if we can get Make sure going here. Make sure the ATT Make sure there's all of the plug. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This only works in like a very it's specific yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another. Yeah, how is the video on the sideline? 40, yeah, no. 30, 20, 10, touchdown Eagles. David Kensey, senior running back. Touchdown All the way. Eagles. David Kensey from Eagles. 71 yards out for the score. David Kensey, the 71 yard score. touchdown on. Oh, I mean, man, this is what I'm talking about. Just got a lot to prove themselves for. Like they balls at the 29 yard line, third and nine for the Eagles. Third and nine for Shaw. Let's see if we can get Make sure going here. Make sure there's all of the plug. Yeah. Yeah. And the layup kick is good. Yeah, and with 439 yeah. remaining in the first quarter, the score, the Shaw Eagles, the seven. The Shaw the Kincaid Falcons, zero. The Kincaid Falcons, zero. Make the score 7-0 in the first quarter. Dude, this is so bad. Oh, no. Okay. Shaw fans, please take time to visit the Gridiron Club table tonight for your Shaw Spirit items in this week's edition of the Shaw Game Day Football Program. Now on sale while supplies last. The cost for the program is $5. The cost for the program is $5. Also, ladies and gentlemen, remember to also, visit the Eagles Shaw Shack tonight, located in the North End Zone, tonight, for, your the North end zone for your game day food and refreshments. Now food serving and chicken tender baskets, now serving hamburger tender baskets, baskets, jambalaya, hamburger our signature jambalaya, sausage jambalaya, sandwich, our signature french fries, chips, sandwich, candy, and cold drinks, fries, and much, candy, much more at the Shaw Shack. Tonight's jambalaya is being sponsored by State Representative Mandy Landry of Marrera. Thank you, Mandy, for your support. Thank you, Mandy, for your support. Shaw is going a new kicker. Probably on his third game. Yeah, Kicking off the Eagles. Number 36, the Eagles. Henry. Zalea. Including Dan Breeze. He's a pretty good kicker, soccer player. Star soccer player, I should add. He's a pretty good kick. Probably about the 10. And the tackling back more. And Kikay will start have the ball probably on the 10 yard line. Great stop by the Eagles. Murray, number 
Brought down at the 14-yard line, whether it be first and 10 for the Falcons. Charlotte's fan base has kind of grown very wildly in the past couple of years. Uh, I think Coach Hank Tierney has a little bit of, bit of a part to play in that. You know, and, uh, and being kind of notorious in a good way. The defense doesn't let the uh, second time about a nine yard gain on that one. Miles Roeder, number 20, on the carry. Brought down after a gain of five, it'll bring up second and five. Matthew Burnside, number 54. Matthew Burnside, number 54, with the stop. Matthew Burnside, the tackle, a.k.a. Bernie. And he's also a stud on the field, too. But, uh, Charles got the most studs on the defense and on the offense, don't get me wrong. But, uh, I think our defense is pretty solid this year, you know. Okay, fake. To be draw. Tackled for our no gain, and if any, a loss. Trevor Whitted, number 48, on the stop. That'll be Trevor Whitted with the stop. He's a. Just coming back from a pretty bad back injury. Uh, did not know if he got to play again, but. He toughed it out, came back on the field. I'm here, I'm here. Gade, once again, running the draw play. I'm sorry, the flag on the play as about four Eagles take down one Falcon. I'm here, do you copy? Flag on the play. Really four or four. Michael Bell, number six on the carry. We'll see here in a moment. Repeat? Repeat? Brought down for no gain, but there's a flag on the play. Credit that last stop to number 11, Jerome Victor and company. that will be holding on the offense. So we even. The penalty is against the Falcons. It's refused. They're going to bring up fourth down for the Falcons. Punting unit on the field. Kincaid school about the punt. Once again for the Eagles. Is number one Michael Williams. Michael Williams and number 25, and number 25 Gavin Richard. The first time, uh, first kind of showing for the Eagles this season, they returned three punt returns. Oh, I'm sorry, three kicks, not all punts. But uh, yeah, special team unit was kind of drank a Kool Aid uh, that weekend. to see what uh, senior Mike Williams and junior Gavin Richard can do. They look pretty speedsters back there. Both got amazing hands. Uh, can make any play you want them to. Mike Williams with a fair catch. Could be down at around the Williams 49. Williams for a fair catch at about the 46 yard 46. line. It'll be first and 10 for the Shaw Eagles. Archbishop Shaw High School and the Eagle Athletic Facility would like to thank our many sponsors for tonight's game. A special thanks to our 2022 scoreboard sponsors, Central Abstract, West Bank Optimus Club, Louisiana National Guard, Mark's Market, Man for Paul's Dinner and Dessert Mixes, Falcon Law Firm, Todd Enterprises, Olive Branch Restaurant, David Rutten, the attorney at law, Fergie Printing, and the Shaw Alumni Association. Thank you, Thank you very much, very much for, your for your continued support, support of Archbishop Shaw. Jason Lacava with the run. Moving down the field. Keep running. He is down at about the 30 from the 25. And like I said, man, LaCava, a real mobile QB. Can make them legs move if it really needs to. Played many positions by here at Shaw. Running back, receiver, 
linebacker, quarterback, really do it all. Now I've seen Shaw kind of runs there, um, uh, checks their plays before every snap. Hand off to Kenzie, kind of to the outside. Oh, he's getting attacked by two fouls, and that would be a loss in the play. David Kenzie dropped by the 30 yard line for a loss of five. And we got second and 15 for the Eagles. Credit to stop number 58, Will McMacken. It should be back on, it'll be good. Yeah, but uh, Shaw took a trip to Lake Charles yet last weekend. Are we uh, delayed by any chance? See what they can do against Lake the, I'm sorry, reigning state champs, St. Charles Catholic. Cobble with the pass, not far enough. Intended for Mike Williams. The cobble pass intended for number one, Michael Williams. It falls incomplete. It'll bring up third and 15. But yeah, uh, Shaw took a trip to St. Charles, you know, I'll go play them. In a tough loss, about 37-0, but uh, only room for improvement, only room for improvement. He was like a 30-yard run. Kappa, roll out. Pass to Mike Williams, diving catch, such a great catch. Incomplete though. Once again, Lakaba's pass falls incomplete. Sigle okay. unit coming on the field. Kicker, sophomore. Uh, pass was intended for number one, Michael Williams. It'll bring up fourth and 15 for the Eagles. Balls at the Falcon 30 yard line. And the field goal unit's on the field. Zelaya's been known to make these pretty deep kicks. I mean, soccer player and all. He's up to 45. And that is no good. The Leia's kick is no good. The Falcons will take over first and 10 from their own 20 yard line. The Falcons come back on the field. They will uh, have the ball around the middle pass midfield. Around the 35. I'm sorry, 20. Yeah, Shaw has uh, kind of made a turnaround in other athletics these past few years. I mean, wrestling just taking second in uh, state championship last year. Football, you know, to bring in Coach Hank, kind of want to change the uh, change the pace a little bit. Okay, roll out pass. Oh, fumble on the play. And Kay, but I lost about five or ten. Arthur Shaw completely blew that one up. Fumble on the play, recovery by the Falcons number 31, Christian Murray. Lost back, lost back to the 14 yard line. Even with the fumble, uh, Kay retains possession at about the 14. And it's pretty solid this year, I uh, have to say. I to get. And that is the first quarter, folks. And that's, and that's the end of the first quarter with the score of the Shaw Eagles 7, the Kincaid Falcons 0. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's second quarter sponsor is Dalton Architects. Dalton Architects is located on the, located located on the West Bank Expressway in Marrara, in the Marrara Land Building. Thanks to John Dalton, class of 1992, for being tonight's second quarter sponsor.
Ladies and gentlemen, anyone interested in supporting the expansion of this facility by purchasing season tickets, chairback seats, bricks, sideline advertisements, or more, may visit the Eagle Athletic Facilities concession area. Please consider these purchases or help by volunteering your time and talents to this organization. Please, ladies and gentlemen, we need you to get involved. Thank you. And the Archbishop Shaw football team would like to thank the Eagle Gridiron Club for their continued support of the team, the coaches, and the support groups. Your generosity, time, and talent are truly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Kincaid starting with the ball. I'm uh, starting off second quarter, starting with the ball on the own 15, 14. 14. Big game. Falcons pass complete to number five, Harrison Lawrence. Brought down at about the 17 yard line. Gain of three on the play. Darrell McAfee on the stop for the Eagles. Third and about 15. Only a game of three on that one. It would be third and 15 for the Falcons. Have not much, have not got much going. Deep pass, almost intercepted on that play. Uh, three Eagles right there to stop one foul on that play. Did not have much of a chance going into it. Pass intended for number 12, Robert Kavitsky. The ball is complete. We'll bring up fourth and long for the Falcons. Dropping deep once again for the Eagles. Number one, Michael Williams, the number 25, Gavin Richards. Yeah, it's moving that way. Yeah, moving away from it. Once again, Shaw's return team back on the field and Kincaid's punt team back on the field for about the third time this game. It took me to get a trend for the Eagles. Pretty good punt. Mike Williams will catch. Try to make that always on the four yard Michael line. Williams on the return. He's dropped at about the 42 yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Shaw Eagles. Connor Covage, number 42, credited with the tackle. Hey, hey, somebody come in. Shaw will touch the ball on the 42. Receivers for the Eagles right now are Mike Williams, Gavin Richard, and Cameron Marriage and Bolden right now. Pass would be a screen play to Mike Williams. He gets open, st one stiff arm, and he's brought right down around the 45. Makaba's pass complete to the one Michael Williams. Knocked out of bounds about the 46 yard line. Andy Guy, number 33 on the stop. Game of four to bring up third and six. Second now for the Eagles. Direction second and six for the Eagles. Second and six to be precise. Hand off to Kenzie right at the middle. He stopped up at around the 47. 48, sorry. Caleb Williams on the carry up the middle. He's brought down at the 48 yard line. I'm kind of excited to see what the, uh, the Eagles are going to do this year. Number seven on the stop. It'll be third and four for the Eagles. You know, I think we have a pretty well-rounded team, pretty uh, promising team. I think we make a lot happen this year. I mean, I think can happen. Put it down there. Put it down there. Put it down there. Put it down there. Put it down 
Fry lost on the play. Saw punching up on the field. Ken's the only carry on the carry for the Eagles. Drop for a loss Drop back to the 47 yard line. Your loss of one. They'll bring up the fourth and five. Punting unit on the field for the Eagles. I was alive, and I had a very great week last week. Um, uh, about a couple, of a couple of punts were blocked, but you know, mistakes have to be made for things to be good. But. Okay, well, first team the first game is down. Punt is down. Is down. Twenty yards. Twenty yards. Be first. Be ten. The Falcons. The Falcons. Pretty decent punt. I'm uh, think he will be down at around the 20. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen everyone, everyone is invited. And welcome, and welcome to attend Austin Shaw's Adoration, Adoration of the Lord before the, before the, speed, before the speed, speed, held every, held every Wednesday, Wednesday night, night beginning, beginning at 7 p.m. in Don in Bosco, Bosco Hall. Hall. That's every That's Wednesday, Wednesday at 7 p.m. In, in Don Bosco Hall. Bosco Hall. As previously mentioned, uh, Shaw's kind of made a turnaround in the past couple of years with uh, the biggest eighth grade class in a few years uh, coming to Shaw, you know, 100 and some kids. They were, they were running up the gut. Pretty decent game, six starts, seven give or take. Brought down after a game of three. Ronald Allen, number 92, on the stop. Second is a long seven for the Falcon. All district Ronald Allen to stop on that one. Uh, he's also a senior. Um, he said that's 23, man. They're bright. Roberts, false, 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 Third down for the Falcons. Let's see what they can get going here. Have not got much going, honestly. A couple of four or five yard runs, but nothing really much outside of that. And 48, Trevor Whitted coming out of the field. Things are going on down in the field. Uh, referees having a little mishap. And the coach having a little mishap. The handoff. 31, running on the field. Fine tackle that around 38 by Jordan Evans once again. Christian Murray, number 31, carries the Falcons. The Falcons. Brought down by number, number four, Jordan, Jordan Evans. Ball's placed at the 38 yard line, line whether it be first and 10 for the Falcons. The Falcons. Is this a decent uh, angle or nay? Now that is the Falcons' biggest play of the game, mind you. Um, maybe that will actually like, you know, shift the tides. Once again, right up the gut. 
for a much less gain than the last play, but, you know, can't always have the big ones. Christian Murray once again on the carry. He's across the 40 to about the 42 yard line. Gain of two on the play, it'll be second and eight for the Falcons. Matthew Burnside, number 54, on the stop for the Eagles. Now, just to note out, Matthew Burnside does go by many names. Uh, Bernie, Big Mac, which is his favorite. So if you ever see him, uh, give him a shout out. Okay, once again with the handoff. Which is stuffed by number 95, Ray Harrison, on the field. Oh, I'm sorry, Jonathan Williams. Michael Bell, number six, dropped for a loss by number 95, Jonathan Williams. Losses back to the 38 yard line. He is taking for about a four yard loss on the play. Uh, good momentum by the Eagles. You know, they're kind of getting. They were kind of getting ran on a little bit right there, but they finally... Uh, Third and 10 for the Falcons. Finally proved they're about it. Went for the little screenplay right there, but, uh, but it was tipped. Falcons pass, falls incomplete. It'll bring up fourth and 10. Official timeout on the field. Fourth down for the Eagles. I mean, fourth down for the Falcons. I'm sorry. Uh, Eagles punting will come back on right after this short hydration break. Ladies and break. gentlemen, once again, it's time for tonight's hydration break. Tonight's hydration break. So selling raffle tickets throughout the season for a custom two-sack crawfish boiling pot. It's $5 a chance or five chances for $20, and the winner will be selected on November 4th at the season finale game against Helen Cox. Both Falcons and Eagles special teams out in the field. I mean, that's really what we've been seeing all game, pretty much. Just a lot of punting, a lot of receiving. Pretty good punt. Mike Williams to receive. Not a very good look. He is taken out at around the 30-yard line. Michael Williams on the return for the Eagles. I mean, that's the thing about Michael Williams, man. I mean, you know, he's an opening and just goes after it. His, uh... <laughs> He went behind us. There's really no catching him. Uh, Brought down at about the 30-yard line. Where it'll be first and 10 for the Shaw Eagles. One of, if not, I think it might be the fastest players in the in the state. Um, track star. Just he is coming off a uh, pretty recent injury though, ACL tear. But he has bounced back pretty tremendously from that. Eagles come out with a four receiver look. McCoppa with the pitch to Kenzie for an, a loss on the play. I, that was blowing up. Maybe number eight, David Kenzie on the Kenzie carry. David on the carry, dropped for a loss. Back to about the 26 yard line, a loss of four. It'll be second and 14 for the Eagles. Miles Roeder, number 20, on the tackle. Second of 14 for Shaw. Uh, I mean, this is really what we show, you know, once the pressure's put on us. Shaw's really known for going through, swimming through deep water. Never take, really taking the easy route, so even if we make it. To about the 31 yard line. Miles Roeder, number 20, on the stop once again. Gain of four to bring up third and 10.
third and ten for the Eagles. All right, let's see what they can uh, get going here. Nakafa rolling out. Sees Mike Williams. Oh, barely dropped in the play. Nakafa's pass intended for number one, Michael Williams. It falls incomplete. It'll bring up fourth and ten for the Eagles and the punting units on the field. Both teams, special teams unit, coming back on the field. You know, I think both teams have, have uh, much room to improve, but that's the way it is. I mean, no team's going to be perfect. There's a layout with the punt. Brought out to around the 45. Flag on the play. Falea's punt is down at the 45-yard line, but there's a flag on the play. Not really sure what this flag's about. We will see in just a second. Thank you all for tuning in, by the way. You know, supporting Shaw. If you're from Kincaid, welcome. This is how we do it down here in the boot. Holding is the call against the Falcons. That'll be holding on the Falcons. Even with that. Kelty moves the ball back to the 35-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for Kincaid. Kincaid will get the ball around, Kincaid will get the ball around the 35. I mean, as of now, they've not gotten much going, but... That could all change very quickly. Handoff, number, thir number five, I'm sorry. Number six. Brought down around the 43. Michael Bell, number six on the carry. He's across the 40 to about the 41-yard line. Jerome Victor, number 11 on the stop. A gain of six, it'll be second and four. That is once again Jerome Victor to tackle. I mean, he, he's going places, man. I mean, he can he really do anything he puts his mind to. Uh, ever since he really got here, um, so about sophomore, junior year, he's uh, really made an impact on his team. He's kind of known, he's kind of known as uh, shutting the field down, calling the field general. Kincaid come out the pass, screenplay. That'd be number 17, Daryl McAfee with the tackle. Darrell McAfee, excuse me. Robertson's pass complete to number five, Harrison Lawrence. He's dropped at about the 44 yard line. It'll bring up third and two. Darrell McAfee on the stop. Third and two for the Falcons. Let run play right up the gut. And he gets the first down. Stopped around the 46. Oh, I'm sorry, 47. Michael Bell carries for a first down. It'll be first and 10 for the Falcons. Okay, another handoff right up the middle. Once again, a spell on the carry brought down at about the 50-yard line after a gain of two. Stopped at around the 50, 49. Short gain on that one, which is really all we've seen Darrell on the game. McAfee once again on the stop. A gain of one. It'll be second and nine for the Falcons. I mean, Shaw's really trying to, you know, be known as one of the powerhouses of uh, football again. We're back in the late 90s, I mean, early 90s, late 80s. Uh, trying to bring that fire back. Pass complete to number five, Harrison Lawrence. Brought down at the Eagle 40-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for the Falcons. Jerome Victor, number 11, 
on the stop. Once again, Jerome Victor, a.k.a. Boss, with the stop. Any of my history buffs are there. Il Duce. KK with a deep pass down the field. Soars over the receiver's head. Robertson's pass falls incomplete, intended for Harrison Lawrence. It'll be second and 10 for the Falcons. The ball's at the Eagle 40 yard line. Falcons of the ball at around the 41 yard line. Shaw's been doing a Shaw's been doing a pretty good job, you know, keeping the Falcons at bay, uh, not really letting them spread their wings, move down the field. Falcons another handoff right in the middle, number six, run down the field. What a pretty good gain on the on the play. Brought down. Michael Bell, number six on the carry. Brought down around the 15 yard line on that one. He's inside the 20 to about the 16 yard line where they'll be first and 10 for the Falcons. Cordell Allen, number 24 in the stop. Along junior. with Lewis Foster. Kikade runs the ball, stuffed at about the one yard line. Bell once again on the carry. It's very close. Brought down at the one yard line. First and goal for the Falcons. First and goal for the Falcons here. They do not have much to go. Only a yard at the max. But uh, pretty confident in this Eagles defense. Maybe see some Troy Palomalu dive over the line action. Pretty confident in Jordan Evans' abilities to do that. And all the, you know, defense. Got a lot of studs out in the field. Timeout called. Timeout, Falcons. Thirty five seconds left and to go into half. Eagles still up 7-0 by uh, the 71-yard touchdown run by David Kensey. He kind of erupted on the scene last year. Um, you know, he didn't get much play time during COVID, obviously. I mean, he, when he was given a chance to shine, he really shined. Michael Bell, number six for the score. A one-yard touchdown run for the Falcons. And they're going for two, but they're stuffed. From what I can see, it'll be no good. No good. So the Eagles will contain, retain the lead 7 6 with 31 seconds. For the point after, he stopped short. So with 31 seconds remaining in the first half, the score the Shaw Eagles 7, the Kincaid Falcons 6. Falcons are getting a little, um, uh, little bold there, trying to go for two, but they were ultimately stuffed about the. One, two, three yard line. So as of now, the score is 7 6, Shaw on top. Ladies and gentlemen, a special thanks to our sideline sponsors Stability Financial, Senator Pat Connick, Brian Adams. Hot Works of Marrera, Riverland Title, E-Love Enterprises, Mr. Rooter Plumbing, 
and the Eagle Gridiron Club. Thanks again for your sponsorship of the Eagle Athletic Facilities. Thank you. Eagles are about to receive the kick from the Falcons. Do not have much time to make a play, but definitely enough. Deep for the Eagles, number one, Michael Williams, and number eight, David Kensey. There'll be number two, Lewis Foster receiving the kick. Oh, he found a hole. He's going deep down the field, makes a move. Still going down around the 44. Yard line, 45. Lewis Foster, number two, on the return. He's inside the 45 to about the 43-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for the Shaw Eagles. That was a pretty clutch play to get the Eagles in good position. 22 seconds left on the clock. Eagles still have all three timeouts left. So do Kincaid. Eagles coming out once again with the four receiver lineup. Can't see in the back here with LaCava. LaCava going for the deep route to Mike Williams. That is a pass interference on Kincaid. Eagles will get the ball around the 10 yard line. LaCava's pass intended for number one, Michael Williams. It's incomplete, but that's playing for your play. Line, where it'll be first and 10 for the Shaw Eagles. Eagles down around the 10 yard line. Sorry, not trying to interrupt Coach Tommy Trahan. His that was a pretty clutch pass play to get the Eagles in good position. Against the Falcons. 22 seconds Eagles left on the clock. The mind. Eagles still have all three timeouts left. So do Kincaid. Whoa, they're going to call the ball down around the 25. 26. Once again, Kenzie in the backfield with LaCava. Kind of a dual threat duo. LaCava going for the deep pass once again. And Mike Williams caught. Mike Williams with the touchdown. Jace LaCava with the Jace LaCava with the pass. Touchdown pass. Eagle score with 10 seconds left remaining in the half. That is a Jason great McCullough play by the Eagles. To Cameron Marini Bolden for the score. I apologize. Cameron Marini Bolden for the touchdown, not Mike Williams. And Zelaya's kick is good for the extra point. Scores now 14-6. And Zelaya's kick is good. And with 10 seconds remaining in the first half, the score, the Eagles 14, the Falcons 6. I don't know if the, uh, the stream can hear it, but the Eagles did call. <laughs> Eagles screeching all the way home. Pretty clutch play to put the Eagles up by Kicking seven, off for the Eagles, number 36, eight. Henry Zalea. Henry Zalea, once again. Oh, timeout called by Coach Hank and the Eagles. Timeout, Eagles.
But yeah, like previously mentioned, um, Shaw Once again, ladies around. and gentlemen, the Shaw Alumni Association is holding its weekly 50-50 raffle tonight. And at all season, tickets may be purchased from our alumni representative during the first half of tonight's game. The winning ticket number will be announced during the third quarter of tonight's game. So good luck and thank you for supporting the Alumni Association's scholarship fund. Yeah, Charles kind of turned around, you know, in athletics. Uh, wrestling doing pretty good. Basketball doing really good, making the semifinals. Uh, losing to the, you know, then champs, um, Scotlandville. Good kick by Zelaya Squibb. Is at the 10-yard line, picked up at the 10-yard line by number 31. He's brought you around the, around the 15, 16-yard line. Kickoff returned by number 31, Christian Murray. Brought down at about the 16-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for the Falcons. Jordan Evans, number four on the stop. Jordan Evans has been all over the field this game. I mean, left, right, and center been hearing his name called about tackles. Uh, stops on the play. He's just there when you need him. Four seconds left to go in the half. Uh, can cater down around the 16-yard line. Do not see much happening unless a uh, deep th ball is thrown, but I think they might just wait it out, run the ball real quick, go into the next half with a different game plan. And the kneel is taken, and that is the half. Eagles up 14-6. And that's the end of the first half with the score. The Shaw Eagles, 14. The Kincaid Falcons, 6.
Welcome back, folks. As we uh, ladies and gentlemen, if, if you took part Eagle one thousand dollar ball raffle for tonight and all home games this season, it's ten dollars a chance, and you have a one in three hundred chance to walk away tonight with one thousand dollars. Our winner tonight is ball number forty two. Ball number forty two. If you have ball 42, please report to the press box. You are a $1,000 winner. Congratulations. Welcome back, folks, as we uh, kick off the second half of this Archbishop Shaw Eagles versus Kincaid School Falcons. Eagles are on top right now, 14-6. Uh, and will return, get the ball to start the second half. Marjorie Bolden gets the ball to start the second half. I'm sorry, Mike Williams. Michael Williams on the return. He's across the 30 to about the 33 yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for the Shaw Eagles. Williams is stopped at around the uh, 10 yard line. Or, I'm George sorry, 30 yard line. on the stop. He was throwing the ball around a 33-yard line. Uh, LaCava and uh, Kenzie in the backfield. LaCava with the handoff to Kenzie. Cuts to the outside. Cuts back to the inside. Tackled at around 35. Kenzie carries for the Eagles. He's across the 35 to about the 36-yard line. Ben Holm, number seven on the stop. A gain of three. It'll bring up second and seven for the Eagles. Eagles once again coming out. Oh, I'm sorry, they have a five receiver line up now. Four receivers, I'm sorry. Uh, Gavin Richard is blocking. Psych. Oh, LaCava with the great throw to Mike Williams right off the dome. LaCava's pass falls incomplete, intended for number one, Michael Williams. It'll bring up third and seven for the Eagles. Pass was incomplete, by the way, if that was hard to interpret. I think it's important, um, uh, you know, for Charter to work as a team in this one. I mean, they've done a pretty good job so far. Uh, well, LaCava rolling out. Pass to Gavin Richard. Caught. Breaks one tackle. And it stopped around the 45-yard line. I'm sorry, 46-yard line. Great play LaCava's by the Eagles. LaCava's pass completes at number 25, Gavin Richard. Richard has crossed the 45 to the 46-yard line. Reed Liuzzi, number 17, on the stop. First down, Eagles. Eagles are slowly moving up the field here. Two quick pass plays. Back to back. Shaw's are kind of content with their lineup. They're not really moving people in and out the game, in and out of the field. Hand off to Kenzie. He's fighting up the middle. And that's about one, two, three, four, five, six Falcons. Kenzie carries for the Eagles for a gain of one. Still got a gain on the play. Ball's at the 47 yard line. Second and nine for the Eagles. Got a couple legs tangled up here. Hopefully, no injuries. Everybody seems to be fine. It is third down for the Eagles, though. Equals at right around the 47 yard line. McCobb with the handoff to Kenzie once again. Custody outside. Hurdles. And he stopped at around the 48. 
49. David Kensey, number eight, once again on the carry. Brought down at the 49 yard line. Gain of two on the play, it'll be third and seven. Third and seven for the Eagles. Will McMacken, number 58, on the stop. Not much action in this game so far, besides uh, Kansas' exciting 71-yard uh, touchdown run. A um, couple plays here and there by each team. McCava in the backfield drops. Screen play to Kansas, and that is dropped. Incomplete. And it is now fourth down for the McCava's Eagles. McCava's pass intended for number one, Michael Lewis. It falls incomplete. It'll bring him fourth down, and the punting unit is on the field. It is kind of tough to catch the ball. I mean, it's pretty sloppy out here. People slipping and falling left and right. Cannot blame either team. Zelaya for the Eagles about to punt. What kind of high snap. Good punt, though. Zelaya's punt is down at the 28-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for That the is number 47 senior, Julian Clarks, uh, stopping the ball right around the 30-something-yard line. Right around the 30. 35. This is actually his first year playing football, and um, uh, he's more of a baseball star. He's, uh, once again, one of those dudes that hits nukes, hits dingers. Exciting young player. Kincaid with the run, which is not going to get much. Might have a loss of yards in the play, but uh, and no gain. Christian Murray on the carry. Dropped at the 27-yard line for a loss of one. It'll be second and 11 for the Falcons. Jerome Victor, number 11 on the stop. Loss of one to play there. Great stop by the equal defense. I uh, hope they can keep that going all game. Okay, he drops back. Goes to the screen play. Does not quite make it to the receiver. Robertson's pass falls incomplete. Kincaid OC kind of freaking out in the other room. Third and 11 for the Falcons. From their own 27-yard line. I mean, Charlotte's got some big boys on the D-line there. Kind of really wouldn't would, would want to go get some myself if I were them. But, you know, Charlotte does have that kind of intimidation factor. Kincaid once again dropping back. Almost intercepted by number 24, Cardell Allen. Robertson's pass falls incomplete. It'll bring up fourth and 11 from the Falcon 27-yard line. And dropping deep for the Eagles is number one, Michael Williams, and number 25, Gavin Richard. Fourth down for the Falcons. They will punt to the Eagles now. Michael Williams and Gavin Richard once again back to receive. Kind of a dangerous duo because uh, no matter who catches the ball, not a very good chance of catching them. Both kind of speedsters back there. Not a very good punt by the Falcons. It will bounce out of bounds at around the 35-yard line. And the Falcon punt rolls out of bounds at the 35-yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Shaw Eagles. For those of you who are just joining us, um, uh, the score is 14-6, Shaw on top, with about seven and a half Ladies minutes and left to go in the third quarter. to the Gridiron Club, tonight's third quarter sponsor. Come support the Eagles by joining the Gridiron Club. Once again, our third quarter sponsor. Thank you to the Gridiron Club. A 
Kava dropping back in trouble. Oh, and he is sacked at around the 25-yard line. Their own 25-yard line. Jason I should Kava dropped for a loss back to about the 26-yard line. Miles Roeder, number 20, credited with the stop. Third down for the Eagles now. Along with number 58, Will. I apologize, Jackson. second. And Kava hands off to Kenzie. Decent run right in the middle, still moving, and he's brought down around exactly the 30 yard line. You know, win or lose, uh, Shaw is uh, all going to have that kind of sense of brotherhood. Never bring another person down, only bring them up. Kenzie uh, carries for the Eagles. Brought down after a gain of four. Third and 14 for the Eagles. Kind of our motto here at Shaw, Excelsior, uh, forever striving. Third and 14 for the Eagles. LaCava, once again, LaCava, Kenzie in the backfield. <coughs> LaCava with a QB draw play, running around the middle. Great gain, drops the shoulder. He is down and around the 45 yard line. Jace LaCava on a quarterback draw, brought down at about the 45 yard line. Gain of 14 on the play. And he gets exactly what he needs to get Miles the first. Roeder. You know, win or lose, uh, Shaw is uh, sure oh, yeah, that kind of sense of brotherhood. Game. It was just third and fourth. Bring another person down, only bring him up, maybe a four yard line. Brought down after a gain of four. It'll bring up fourth and short for the Eagles. Hydration break. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for tonight's hydration break. Our hydration sponsor tonight is Troy Cotton and Paul Griffin with Wild Car Wash in Marrera. Thanks again to Troy and Paul for your continued support of the Archbishop Shaw football team and Shaw Athletics. And ladies and gentlemen, a special thanks to the Archbishop Shaw chain crew. Thank you again to Mr. Wayne Cherio, David Frank, Lance Errett, Sam Maltabano, and Joe Amadio. Shaw's punt team will come out in the field. Zelaya, oh, kind of a sloppy snap. Still a good punt, though. And the Eagles will stop it at around the 32, 33 yard line. About the 33 yard line, whether it be first and 10 for the Kincaid Falcons. Yeah, but uh, I can attest to this. Uh, Shaw was in the lab, I guess, working hard, kind of trying to sharpen their edges, I guess, uh, from last week's loss. Or maybe, yeah, last week's loss. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, we they can see they're having glimpses of, um, uh, of success here. We just have a lot of good players, man, like a lot of breakout players, you know, and even not, like even the players that not many people know about, they can explode at any second. Kikade, one of their motion play, handoff. <clears throat> and that is for a tackle for a loss. Michael Bell, number six on number the Number 11, the Jerome He's Victor. He's dropped for a loss inside the 30 to about the 28-yard line. Ronald Allen, number 92 on the stop. Ball's placed at the 29-yard line, a loss of three. Second and 13 for the Falcons. That is all district Ronald Allen and star linebacker Jerome Victor in for the tackle.
Robertson's pass falls incomplete, intended for number six, Michael Bell. It'll bring up third and 13 for the Falcons. I'm not Balls real. at the Kincaid 29 yard line. I'm not real familiar, you know, with the Kincaid numbers, but it seems they've been targeting uh, Michael Bell a lot. He, uh, he must be uh, their go to. Third down for the Falcons. They are around the 32 yard line. Seem to be a, seem to be a little bit confusion on the snap. Uh, taking a little while to snap the ball. Putting players in motion. Drop back for the pass. Going for the deep ball. And that is barely dropped by number five. It's close. Robertson's pass intended for number oh, five, Harrison Lawrence. It falls incomplete. It brings up fourth down for the Falcons. Seem to have an injured eagle on in the field. That is number 24, for Cardell Allen. Seems to be holding his knee. Let's hope it's not too severe. Must be uh, their go-to. Third down for the Falcons. They are around the 32-yard line. Seem to, be seem to be a little bit confusion on the snap. Uh, Allen is seem to be getting up on his own ball. free will, so that is a good sign. Ladies and gentlemen, if you took part in tonight's 50-50 raffle for the Alumni Association Scholarship Fund, the green ticket, it's time to take the green ticket out. We're gonna find out who our winner is. And the winning ticket is worth $476. The winning ticket number is 408973. 408973. If you have the winning ticket, please come to the press box. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold on to your tickets because if we don't find a winner the first time, we'll try and try again. Thank you. Kate off to punt the ball. Mike Williams back there catching the punt. Oh, and he is taken down at around the 34, 33 yard line. Williams on the return for the Eagles. Brought down at about the 33. Will Anderson on the stop. First down, Eagles. Eagles lining up, pretty much the same lineup they usually make to um, bring out the field. Hand off to Kenzie up the middle. He is uh, stopped at around the 44 yard Kenzie line. Carries the Eagles. Sorry, about the 38. Brought down at about the 37 yard line. Gain of five on the play. Second and five for the Eagles. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the winning ticket number is 408973. If you have that winning ticket, please come to the press box. Lacava is taken down for the sack. Not sack, but the tackle. Trying for the run play. Not much of a gain on the play, but still moving up the field. It is no third down for the Eagles. Third and five for the Eagles. The ball's at the Eagles 38 yard line. Third and short for the Eagles. Uh, down to 38. I'm uh, sensing a David Kensey handoff once again. 
And I thought, timeout called by Coach Hank Tierney and the Eagles. Timeout, Eagles. left left in the third quarter uh, game is slowly getting away from uh, Kincaid well not really they're still only down by eight anything can happen you know you never know football is a beautiful sport Makava drops back rolls out under pressure scrambles he's getting around breaks a couple tackles drops a shoulder he is down at around the Third. Chase Lacava, the quarterback keeper inside the 45 to about the 42 yard line. Very good run by uh, Chase Lacava. on the stop. Down around the 42. First down, Eagles! Football's a beautiful sport. First down. Lacava drops back, rolls out, under pressure. Scrambles. He's getting around, breaks a couple tackles, drops the shoulder. Field very nicely this drive. He is down. Had a couple setbacks, but ain't gonna stop us. Hand off to Kenzie. Oh, a couple yard gain. Kenzie carries inside the 40 to about the 39. Gain of four in a play. Gain of four on that one. Second and a long six for the Eagles. Will Anderson, number nine, on the tackle. Along with number six, Micah Bell. But yeah, like I mentioned before, I mean, Charles brought in a whole new coaching staff. I mean, well, returned. A lot of, a couple returning, a couple new. As in uh, Coach Hank Tierney, Mike Biamonte, uh, Coach Frank Alello from uh, East Jeff, uh, Ian Walters, Coach Bo Briner, um, Christian Lacey and Chad Boyd, obviously, both alumnus from the school. Uh, and uh, also Coach Ivan Ledet, or Ledet, uh Coach Chad Kenzie Foray, who is mainly the, the baseball coach, loss back to about the 41 -yard line. but has taken the uh, responsibility of being the freshman, you know, coach. Third and nine coming up. There's a lot of leaders over here at Shaw. Miles Not many followers. Roeder on the tackle. Makava rolling out. Come back. Looking for Williams. Does it to him. And is just outside of Williams' reach. The compass pass is incomplete. Charles punt team on the field. The Eagles and the punting units on the field. Kind of a high snap. Zalai with a kick. Decent punt. Falcons will be down around the 15 yard Bear line. Fair catch called for by the Falcons at the 16 yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for Kincaid. Shaw's defense back on the field. They seem to um, uh, be doing pretty well. Uh, stop it, Kincaid moved down the field besides the one touchdown, but, you know, can't always expect perfection. Kincaid sending plays in motion. There's a flag on the play. Looks like a false start in the offense. 
Dead yes, ball indeed. illegal procedure is the call against the Falcons. That was to the back about five, ten yards. Five yards. That'll cost him five yards as it moves the ball back to the 11 yard line. First and 15 for the Falcons. Falcons just right outside their own 10. So they are in a little bit of trouble, but just enough breathing room. Well, you can have a touch of Shaw defense. Handoff. K tries to make the move. I think I see a flag down the play. Yes, I do. Christian Murray, number 31, on the carry. Brought down at the 12-yard line after a gain of one. Face mask on the defense, so flag that will give Kate a couple yards. Face mask is the call against the Eagles. This will be first down for the Falcons with, a, with about a, mining, a minute remaining in the third. And 10 for the Kincaid Falcons. Clock is still going, so we are, are at about 45 seconds in the third quarter. Kincaid needs to put something on the board here. I mean, if not, I don't think they have much luck stopping the Eagles in the fourth if we really strive. K tries to run the ball. Not many yards in the play, but enough. Michael Bell carries. Brought down by number two, Lewis Foster. And number four, Jordan Evans on the stop. Falls at the 29-yard line. Gain of three. It'll be third and seven for the Falcons. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. The Shaw Eagles 14. The Kincaid Falcons 6. End of the third. Uh, Eagles still on top. 14-6. Uh, Kincaid will have to get something going here. Because uh, after a little while, it may be too late. Maybe a long bus ride home for the, for the Falcons. I do say injured Ronald Allen on the sideline, all district, so let's hope he's okay. He's kind of one of the centerpieces to the Eagles defense. Ladies and gentlemen, a special thanks to tonight's fourth quarter sponsor. Our fourth quarter sponsor is the Salesians of Don Bosco. The Salesians of Don Bosco continue to educate our young academically, socially, athletically, and spiritually. Thanks again to our fourth quarter sponsors, the Salesians of Don Bosco. Kincaid offense back out in the field. Uh, start of the fourth quarter. Hand off up the middle. Gets to the outside, number six. Still breaking tackles. He is down at about the 40-yard line. Micah Bell, number six on the carry. I mean, man, I'm not too familiar with the Kincaid Falcons, but uh, Micah Bell seems to be uh, kind of their star player on the offense. Time out for an injury. We do have an injury in the field. Let's hope it's not too severe. Hope he can get up and get walking.
another returning uh, figure to the Shaw, uh, Shaw culture is uh, Father Steve Ryan. Uh, I think last year was his last year or two years ago. First year back since being here in the uh, 80s. He's uh, kind of uplifted our school spirit, you know. He's all about the grit and grind, but also having fun while doing it. A Falcons handoff. With a good gain, about a 15 to 20 yard gain. Yeah, uh, down around the 50 yard Christian line. Christian Murray, number 31 on the carry. Brought down at midfield after a gain of 12. Darrell McAfee on the stop for the Eagles. First and 10 for the Falcons. Once again, it's Christian Murray on the carry. Finally brought down at the 38-yard line. Falcons. Gain of 12 on the play. Falcons with a good run. Gain 12. Uh, down at the 38. Let's see what they can get going here. Seem to have a pretty good run going. Oh, another handoff. He's getting to the outside. Another great gain by the Falcons. Christian Murray, number 31, carries. Down at about the 25. Down at the 25-yard line. Let's hope the uh, Eagles Cordell don't fall apart Allen this last quarter. On the stop for the Eagles. Timeout for an injury. Another injury timeout. Another Eagle down in the field. Man, you do not like to see that. Unclear as to who it is yet. About three injured Eagles here. That's three too many. That is number 11, Jerome Victor. Let's hope it's uh, not too bad because uh, kind of he's kind of the glue to our defense. But still, we uh we ad we adapt here over our Archer for sure. Takes a lot to break us down. You said we like going to deep water. That's where we strive. Take our opponent through deep water. Pressure breaks, pressure breaks pipes, baby. QB draw for the Falcons. About a gain of four on the play. Miles Roeder, number 20 on the carry. He's inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line. Number 21, Ron Trey gain Carter coming out of the field. It'll be second and three for the Falcons. Julian Clark's number 47 on the stop for the Eagles. <coughs> Julian Clark's with the, once again with the stop. Another QB draw play. Kincaid. A good gain. There's a flag out in the field. Broder once again on the carry for the Falcons. Scenery number six, Dallas Bourne with the stop. Flag on the play. Holding is the call against the Falcons. Holding on the offense. I mean, they've had a, they've had a couple of those. I mean, if they want to really stay in this game, they've got to kind of clean their the act penalty up. Penalty moves the ball back to about the 23-yard line. But then again, there is no success without failure. So It'll bring up second and eight for the Falcons. Kincaid with a little handoff play. Seems to be a little scuffle going on the field. Third down for the Falcons. Gomez on the carry for a gain of one. Third and seven for the Falcons. They do appear to be in field goal range, but I'm not entirely sure.
These Shaw fans getting pretty rowdy out here. Okay, out here, they're rolling out pass. Screenplay. Good gain. I don't know if it's enough to get the first, though. Might be a couple yards short. To number five, Harrison Lawrence. Brought down at about the 17 yard line. Matthew Burnside, number 54, with the tackle. It'll That's bring up fourth and two. That's big Bernie Burnside getting the tackle out in the field. And the Kincaid Falcons will go for it. Seems to be a QB draw play, a Wildcat. Almost gets him. He evades the play. Breaks a couple tackles. Makes a move. And he seems to be down around the one-yard line. Once again, Kincaid Falcons down at the one. Michael Bell carries for the Falcons. Brought down at the Eagle one-yard line where it'll be first and goal for Kincaid. Dallas Bourne, number six, on the stop for the Eagles. Almost gets him. He evades the play. Breaks a couple tackles. Makes a move. He almost had the sack. Would have uh, probably put the seal on the game. down around the one-yard line. Now uh, Falcons are in great position at the one-yard line. Let's hope the Eagles can get something going, get a stop here. And it seems the Falcons will just make a QB draw once again into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. And another touchdown Miles for the uh, from one yard out Kincaid Falcons. Score. I think they kind of had to go for two here unless they hope to get another stop. If they convert the two-point conversion, there will be a tie game. If not, it will be a two-point game. Shaw would be on top. Not many Kincaid fans out here today. A um, couple of them. But uh, they seem to be getting drowned out by the uh, Shaw Eagle crowd. Timeout, Falcons. Timeout by Kincaid. Yeah, anybody you talk to, there's really nothing but praise for uh, Coach Hank. Um, not much failure in his career. I mean, he's had a couple setbacks, but don't we all? This game is getting pretty exciting. And let's see if the Eagles can get the goal line stop. Okay, lining out. Seems to be a QB draw play once again. It is. Just trying to get out to the outside. And he is stopped. Number 12, that is, oh, I'm sorry, not number 12. The Falcons try for two is Number no two, good. Lewis Foster out in the stop. Great play and by the Eagles. 27 remaining in the game, the score, the Shaw Eagles, 14. The Kincaid Falcons, 12. Once again, it is. Just trying to get out to the outside. That gives the uh, Eagles And he is room. stopped. Number 12. Credit that last stop to number two, Lewis Foster. Let's just hope the uh, Eagles can keep this uh, little boost of motivation going.
K will kick off to the Eagles. K's defense is really going to have to step up here. They've had a little bit of trouble stopping Shaw. They have not allowed a single score in the second half, though, which is promising. That is Michael Williams back there receiving the kick. Makes a couple moves, but he's ultimately brought down at around the 25-yard line. Michael Williams on the return for the Eagles brought down at the 25-yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Shaw Eagles. Now there is about, about seven minutes, give or take, to go in this game. So if the Eagles play their cards right, this could be one of the last drives of the game. Eagles coming out to two receiver back up um, line up. Makava going deep to Mike Williams. Soars over his head. He is fast, but not that fast. Lacava's pass falls incomplete, intended for number one, Mike Williams. No shame on Lacava, but uh, he has, you know, a couple of passes, um, but he is his first year quarterback. So Lacava going deep to Mike Williams. Soars over his head. For the Eagles. He is fast, but not. But yeah, that seems to be LaCava's number one target, uh, Michael Williams. No, just five or so. Michael Williams and Jay LaCava. Pretty much the whole Shaw uh, offense. A bunch of athletes. Fake handoff, roll out. Once again, another pass. And that seems a pass interference on Kincaid. It was intended for Mike Williams, but LaCava's he was tripped up. Pass intended for Michael Williams. It's incomplete, but there's a flag on the play. It seems to be at around 45-yard line. Defensive pass interference is the call against the Falcons. Ball's placed at the 40-yard line. Eagles. First down, Eagles. Eagles will take possession on the 40-yard line. Again, come out the two-receiver drop. Hand off to Kensey. Tripped up a little bit. Stays on his feet, though, but he is ultimately marked down at around the 35-yard line. Kensey dropped for a loss back to about the 38-yard line for a loss of two. There would be a loss of two yards in the play. Miles Roeder, number 20 on the stop. It'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 for the Eagles. Let's uh, hope they can get things going right now. Do about six and a half minutes left to go in this game. So Kincaid, if get the ball back, do have plenty time to uh, get a score here. Both teams with two timeouts left. Shaw with the ball on the 38-yard line. They uh, do have Caleb Williams back there at the halfback position. Lacava goes deep, overthrows Mike Williams once again. That would uh, that have been a great play. That would have been a touchdown. I mean, once Mike Williams catches that ball, there's not really any catching him. And he has the strength to break a couple of tackles. To tackles one, so. Michael Williams, it falls incomplete. It'll bring up third and 12 for the Eagles. Lakov is having a pretty rough game on the, the passing the aspect. Yard line. I mean, Lakava has the strength to go deep. He's just. Not too big on the accuracy. Lacava rolling out. He is in trouble. He's going to throw it out to Williams. And it is incomplete. Hydration break. 
short break. Lacava's pass. Once that would have been a great Michael play. That would have been a touchdown. I mean, Kawa has the strength to go deep. He's just not too big on the accuracy. Lacava rolling out. He is in trouble. He's going to throw it out. It Williams. is fourth down for the Eagles. So. And it and is incomplete. Let's see what they can break. get doing going. Our hydration sponsor for tonight is Troy Cotton from the class of 1980 and Paul Griffin Jr. from the class of 2001. Thanks again to Troy and Paul for your continued support of Shaw Athletics. Coach Hank on the sideline giving his team a little prep talk. Talking to star quarterback Jace LaCava. The only uh, advice given right here is either constructive criticism or uh, uplifting words. So, either way, we benefit. This is Lyle with the punt. Oh, nearly blocked. Okay, when I catch it, and that'll be number 35, Sheldon Green, catching the ball at around the 10, 11 yard line. Great punt. The Leia's punt rolls dead at about the 11-yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Kincaid Falcons. About 5, 5.45 left to go in this game. This is Lyle with the punt. Oh, Kincaid need to blocked. score, Eagles need a stop. Kincaid when I catch it, and that'll be number 35, Sheldon Green, catching the ball at around the 10, 11-yard line. Christian Murray carries. Brought down for no gain. Let's make that a gain of one. It'll bring up second and nine for the Falcons. Pretty sloppy game out here today. Shaw's clean white jersey is now a uh, murky brown, but we get down to dirty. KK going for the screenplay, but it is tipped by the Shaw defense. Pass falls incomplete. The ball's at the 12-yard line. Third and nine. Third and nine for the Falcons. Shaw doing a pretty good job keeping them uh, keeping them at bay. Kick him out with the pass play. On the screen, almost intercepted. That was number 17, Darrell McAfee. The Falcons pass falls incomplete, broken up by number 17, Darrell McAfee. It'll bring up fourth and nine for the Falcons. I think it's a pretty safe assumption to say if that was intercepted, it would have been taken back to the house. It is fourth Robbie and nine, though, for the Kate. the Eagles, number one, Michael Williams. And number 25, Gavin Richard. Anthony Kincaid is actually bringing out their punt team with five minutes left to go in this game. Falls incomplete. And then they're going to the try to... Have the hope that, that uh, have been taken back to the house. Stop Shaw's offense. Pass falls incomplete, broken up by number 17, Darrell McAfee. They are punting from their own 12-yard line. Oh, that's a fake punt, and not much going there. They are uh, attacking for a loss. A fake punt by the Falcons is stuffed by the Eagles. Can't blame them for trying. You can't blame them for how they executed it though. Credit to stop to number 17, Darrell McAfee and company. Punting from their own 12-yard line. Once again, Darrell McAfee. Oh, that's a play. fake punt. Had a deflection and on third down. And not much going and there. They are uh, attacking for It'll a loss. first and goal for the Shaw Eagles. Shaw fans, let's hear it. Shaw fans going crazy. Let's hear an eagle screech. Very iconic sound. Shaw with the ball at Kincaid's about 14. 
Hand off to David Kensey. He runs into the middle, makes a move, and touchdown, David Kensey, and touchdown, touchdown Eagles. Eagles! David Kensey from nine yards out, and the score. That is David Kensey's second rushing touchdown today. I mean, like I said, man, he's explosive, speedy. He's got it all. It's Elijah with the kick. High snap. And it is good. Eagles up 21 to 12 with four minutes and 52 seconds remaining in this game. It's good. And with 4.52 remaining in the game, the score, the Shaw Eagles 21, the Kincaid Falcons 12. You know, in my opinion, I think I'm uh, the screech kind of gave David Kenzie that little boost to score that touchdown. But kicking off once again for the Eagles. Kincaid down by nine. I mean, number 36, Henry Zalea. Assuming they get the touchdown and go for the two point conversion and succeed it, and I mean, get it, they still have to get the ball back and score once again. So, unless they get something happening here, I think this game is pretty much sealed. With a great kick by Zalea. Murray on the return for the Falcons. The Falcons just stopped it around Brought the 15 yard line. 17 yard line, where it'll be first and 10. For the Kincaid Falcons, Jordan Evans, number four, on the tackle. Falcons on their own, uh, on Shaw's 17-yard line. I'm sorry, their own 17-yard line. They have two timeouts remaining. Four minutes, 45 seconds left to go in this game. Deep pass. And that is almost caught. No flag on the play. Great defense by Lewis Foster. He's had his moments in this game, too. It'll bring up second and 10 for the Falcons. Shaw's 17-yard line. I'm sorry, they're on 17-yard line. They have two timeouts. Right Second down for the Falcons. Screenplay. Receiver gets to the outside. Tackled at around the 25-yard line, 26. Pass sorry for the explicit five, language. Harrison Lawrence. He's across the 25 to about the 26-yard line. Jordan Evans, number four, on the stop for the Eagles. Gain of nine, it's third and one. Falcons on their own 25-yard line, trying to make something happen here. Handoff up the middle. He's breaking for a gain. About an 11-yard gain, give or take. Micah Bell carries. Dallas Board, number six on the stop. First and ten for the Falcons. With about three minutes and 35 seconds remaining in this game. Deep pass by Kincaid. Almost intercepted by Jordan Evans. Pass intended for number 12, Parker Kabitza. It's incomplete, broken up by number four, Jordan Evans of the Eagles. It'll bring up second and 10 for the Falcons. With about three minutes and Kincaid 35 seconds remaining in this game. Do anything they can. Deep pass by yeah. Kincaid. Tighten the oh. score up a little bit, but it's not working. 
Another screenplay. Ooh, too high for the receiver. Almost tips it. I mean, tips it. Pass intended for number six, Micah Bell. It's incomplete. Third and ten for the Falcons. Now, you normally do not see the uh, Eagles wearing white at their own home games. They usually wear green, but uh, unfortunately, Kincaid does not have their white jerseys in yet, so... Okay, once again with the pass. It's completed, but he slips at around the 40-yard line. Pass complete to number 18, James Hemingway. It is fourth down for the Falcons. At the 40-yard line. Gain of six on the play. It'll be fourth and four. Falcons are going to get to about the 47, 48-yard line. I'm sorry, 44. Let's see what they can make happen. No running back in the backfield. They go for another screenplay, but it is dropped. Turnover on downs. Pass falls incomplete, intended for number five, Harrison Lawrence. And possession will change over to the Eagles. No running back in the backfield. They go for another screenplay, but it is dropped. Turnover on downs. Ball's placed at the Falcon 40-yard line. First down, Eagles! LaCava and the Eagle offense come back on the field, looking to uh, wrap this game up. About 2 minutes and 51 seconds remaining in the game. If they score here, I think it's a pretty safe to say that uh, it'll be a ball game, folks. LaCava with the handoff to Kenzie. Can't see. Decent gain in the play. About five, six yards. A couple of words between the two teams, but just David competition. Kenzie on the carry brought down at the 35-yard line for a gain of five. Second and five for the Eagles. Eagles down at the uh, Kincaid's 35-yard line. Hand off. Another one to David Kenzie. Makes a move. Runs up the middle. Still going. He's still going. Still going. Down about the 15-yard line. Great run by David Kenzie. David Kenzie for the carry. Senior star. Brought down at the 14-yard line. Ben home number seven on the stop. First Kincaid's down. 35-yard line. Eagles. Not just the speed to worry about. To David Kenzie. He also can uh, make a move. Run the middle. Boom. Still going. You know what I mean? He's still going. Still going. Down about the 15. Nakaba, another handoff. David Kensey, once again. Not much of a gain. David Kensey carries once again, brought down at about the 12-yard line. Eagles moving pretty nicely in this game, uh, um, in this drive. There's about a minute remaining in the game, so I don't think there's much Kincaid can do unless they pull, have a miracle. Second and eight. I think the uh, Eagles are just going to run a couple plays, let the clock run out. About 45 seconds remaining in the game. Oh, fumble snap. A cover will just lay on top of it. I think the ball's a little wet. Hard to snap. Fumble on the play, recovered by LaCava back at about the 22 yard line. And with the clock flag winding down. The oh, it's a flag on the play. I'm sorry. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against the Eagles. 
A little flag on the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the uh, offense. Oxford Shaw. Not much time left in this game. 20, about 22 seconds left. Little issue to the clock. Technical difficulties. Fans are chanting the go use go chant, so. Ladies and gentlemen, a special thank you to our student section. Congratulations. Thank you for coming out, guys. And the Eagles will come out and take a kneel. And with the clock winding down, scores to the Shaw Eagles 21, Kincaid Falcons 12. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, anybody watching from Kincaid, uh, hope your team has a safe but long ride home. Thank you. Go Eagles. That's the end of the ball game with the score, the Eagles 21, the Falcons 12. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the stadium committee needs your assistance by using the provided...